The next photo that we're gonna look at is the green conference room. I've gone ahead and processed this one from start to finish, and Tony's even come in to do his final adjustments on this one. This conference room is very similar to the other conference rooms, and we didn't want there to be too much repetition because a lot of the techniques overlap. So what I wanna do is basically go through the different groups and show you the composite, the color, the retouching, and the final touches in their groups, and I'll toggle the layers on and off so we can look at them. Let's jump in. So what I'm gonna do is go through and hide these layers and start right at the bottom. I'm gonna expand this group so we can have a look at what we did. Turn all these off. So this was our base exposure, I'm gonna zoom out a bit. You're gonna see that we had this all flagged off. We had a number of reflections we had to deal with. The next thing we did was add the exposure for the right hand side of the frame where we had the kitchen and the dining area. There was an exposure we took for the cloud we were shooting the B1 right into that whiteboard and it was bouncing off. So that gave us a good fill on there. The next one we did was a little bit of mid fill, which I actually only ended up using for this bottom corner, almost like a natural vignette. And there we have Rob walking down the hallway and we've got our people in the room. There was some haloing happening around them. So what I did is add a brightness and contrast layer and I clipped that to them so that it brought it down. Then we did our color work and it was the same process that we're using throughout. A lot of color layers, a lot of masks, and a lot of paths to get it to there. Our retouching layer, we went through, this one's pretty dramatic. We took out a number of reflections. We took out exit signs. We took out smoke detectors. We took out pretty much anything in the scene that was overly distracting was removed at this point. From there, there was a final touches folder. I kind of went over things with a fine tooth comb and we got rid of the power strip on the ground. And this is what I handed off to Tony. I knew that this could go either way, that window. It was in the space. We made an effort to flag it off. It felt somewhat organic, so we wanted to leave that for the final stages. And after Tony got his little hands on this thing, he basically, as I suspected, got rid of that window. He dropped an image into the TV here. It looks like he's adjusted the skin tone in here. They were looking a little pale. I'm gonna expand the color group so that we can show you some of the work that we did. So like I always do, we start with the curves layer and then we do most of our heavy lifting with our hue saturation layer. Uh, I've removed some blue from the floor, moving up, we've made a selection. I can show you the masks for this stuff. That's our whiteboard. That's where Rob's walking down the hallway. So these are all just filled with pure color. In this case, most of them are white. Here's the cloud at the top. We're adding some black, that was in for the kitchen. That was for some of the ceiling in the kitchen. By toggling these on and off, you can see sort of where we're applying the color. And it's a very monochromatic theme. I mean, it's just gray and green. So this one is for a little bit in the kitchen. And then this overall one, you can see that it just took care of the green. When it's off, it's sort of more of a, a really deep lime green here, almost a yellow. And then this sort of neutralizes the color. It makes it a little bit more even overall. 